So just quickly, I want to show you a more efficient way of doing this program that we did in the previous video. Again, we have our four registers, EAX, EBX, ECX, and EDX. I'm just going to write A, B, C, and D there. And then we put 8 here, we put 4 here, we put 2 here, and we put a 3 here. Uh, and then I kind of jump these registers around, adding and subtracting to get the end result of 13, or in hexadecimal, D. Well, re realistically, a more optimal way of, of doing what we did is just, hey, let's just use EAX. And just like I did up here, 8 plus 4, that'll be uh, C. And then C minus 2 will be A. And then A plus 3 will be D. All right? Well, I can do all that with one register. So let's do that. I'm going to uh, first move 8 into EAX, and then let's get rid of all these instructions. I'm holding down Control and hitting L. And then uh, let's add to EAX the value 4, and then let's subtract from EAX the value 2, and let's add to EAX the value 3. And so you can see here I used EAX for everything, and then just one by one I did the next operation so on and so forth, which works with this expression because plus and minus have the same order of precedence, and thus I can just evaluate from left to right. Let's try this out. Uh, F11, build started, build succeeded, control D, F11, and here's our assembly instructions, clear the screen, and just watch EAX go along as we move down the line. EAX will change to an 8, and now it will change to A plus 4 is 12, which makes a C, and then we're going to subtract 2 from the AX, which will turn it into an A. And then we'll add the 3, which turns it into a D, which is the same result we had in the previous video. Uh, except it's much more optimal, obviously. Uh, I want to explain just kind of briefly. Remember I said that this whole file here gets converted into an OBJ file which gets combined with the C++ OBJ file over here. I explained that, I think, on the second video in this playlist or so, somewhere around there. Um, let me let me tell you a little bit why this might be a little more optimal. Obviously, we're just using one register, which is nice. And then, um, basically, each instruction turns into bits and bytes in the OBJ file. And so, when I say move EAX, the value 8, all this gets turned into one instruction and the value 8 is embedded with that entire instruction um, and so it's there it's immediately there all right so when you see data like this which are literal values that we type in instead of these names for registers and or memory locations we call this immediate data because it's immediately available in the instruction I'll show a little more detail to that uh, later on, but I just want to kind of mention that. So there we go. We optimized all this. We got the same result, but we stored it in EAX and a much cleaner uh, implementation of the example I gave you in the last video.